Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Yo, TNT, you. we can let this go where it goes. But I, but I want to I wanna bring up something. Uh-oh. How do you feel about not having income tax anymore? Getting rid of the old IRS. Oh, my God. Are we, we're going to talk about this. Yeah, <laughs> we'll start here. We'll see where it, we'll see where it goes. Um, I will say is that um, there is no such thing as altruism. So with that being said, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Sure. Like, I just... <laughs> When I, I like, and I, for for those of you, I'm not going to get into the actual politics of this, but for some reason, there's a bill that they want to get rid of, like the IRS and put a tax on spending and whatever. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that 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 is what it is. I'm not going to. I'm not into like who, why, motives behind it, whatever. I mean, those those kind of come into play, man. But we don't necessarily have to get political when yeah. we talk about well, the motives necessarily. Well, <laughs> well, I guess my point is, when I saw this, the first thing I thought was that was an Onion article. <laughs> Second thing, might as well be. It se- it's like it reminded me of like one of those pop ups on the internet that's like make twenty five thousand dollars from home weekly and I was just like Ooh, don't pay income tax anymore. That sounds wonderful. I'm all in. Yeah, like of, it does sound like a scam, it right? It does. It sounds hundred percent like a scam. <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah, you're not and wrong. you know, and I and I read they have like a they have like an or, a dot org site or dot yeah. gov site or something about how like you wouldn't pay you wouldn't pay income tax anymore, so you would get all of your money. I don't know Bruh. if that goes to like capital gains on like stocks and things like that. Bruh. If that did, that would be great for people who could do stocks, but guess who does stocks? Rich folks. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, and then they would like they would charge exorbitant tax on spending and like so like it, but then like there would be different like so the more higher end items would have more tax so essentially they try to spin it that the poor's would spend less on tax because they would buy less expensive items and the rich would spend more on tax because they'd be the ones going on like helicopter trips and like stuff like that. I guess my whole thing, Jonas, is like I said, there's no such thing as altruism. So, yeah, taking away the IRS sounds great. Taking away income tax sounds great. But, you know, they're going to pick up the slack somewhere else. And like you said, they're going to pick up the tax on uh, raising, gen- honestly, just raising the price of everything that you buy. Everything that consumers purchase from food to clothing to whatever the hell it is, they're going to raise. The price of that is going to be raised. So your dollar cheeseburger is going to turn into a $5 cheeseburger. Well, your right. gasoline is going to go up in price. It's not going to be a $2 a gallon. It's going to be like, $6 or, a yeah, gallon. Or $8 a gallon. Well, because here's the thing. They tax everyone, I think, at 18% federally. Yeah. Like the average person. Yeah. So they'd have to put an eighteen percent effing tax on everything. Yeah. So like, to every, and every and everything's already up eighteen percent because of inflation. Yeah. So yeah. So that pack of pack of bacon bits you used to get for for a dollar, now it's gonna be like six bucks for a goddamn pack of bacon bits. So to me, this is the thing. Okay. So this is where I this is where I have to really get into my like this is a scam type thing. It's like. If you are going to, right now, we're charging the average person that 18% to, to get a certain amount of tax that sustains the government's functions. Right, right. And you come up with this genius idea to uh, eliminate that method, that process, in favor of something else. Why do it at all? If it's not going to change the amount of money that or resources that are coming into the government, you're right. doing it with the intention on getting more resources. You wouldn't uh, do it with the intention on wh- getting wh- less. Well, here, here's here's the thing, and I and I they, what what they said, or I didn't read deep enough, but I, what I got from it was that they spend so much money paying the IRS, investigating people for tax fraud, blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. Mm. Just let people bring in all the goddamn income they want because then when they try to spend that damn money, then they're getting, they're getting taxed. You can't, you can't fraudulently mm. ta- okay. get out of sales tax. And then it would take away that cost of the IRS and no one would have to worry about filing taxes or whatever. You just get your goddamn money and then when you spend it, they'll get it then. That just seems like it opens the door up for crime. It kind of does, um, especially when like the price of everything goes up. It's like, it, yeah. Oh, it, I, it, to a certain extent, I was I was telling you this the other day. It feels like a d de- a devaluation of the dollar to that point, because if nothing, if you're not taxed, then everything goes up in price. Then a single dollar becomes, yeah, it, it doesn't it, it, become it, it, worth well, as right. much. And I don't think, yeah, like I, when I, yeah, I think you hear people. And here's the thing. People don't understand the, the economics of it, right? Like, the, the general folk. Like, you tell any random poor, 
You're poor. I, right, exactly. <laughs> uh, us poors, right? Like me included in this. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not part of the poors. Uh if you tell them, hey, you don't have to get income tax anymore. Most people are like, that sounds great, but not understand the ramifications of what that means. Yeah. Like how it affects the economy, how it affects the cost of goods, how it affects all this yeah. stuff. Like, so if you insane. put it up for a vote, like it's not going to be a public vote. It would be a vote that the government did or whatever, yeah. which I don't think it'll pass anyway. No. It's kind of like I mean, Brexit. They didn't explain it enough to everyone, and everyone's like, that sounds awesome, and didn't understand the implications. And then when it comes down to it, they're like, hey, we didn't know any better. Just because you have a powerful vote doesn't mean that you shouldn't like know what you're voting on, I mean, right? That's that's kind of true. I don't want to do an American Brexit, that's for sure. Yeah, like, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I ain't trying to. <clears throat> I would just rather. And here's the thing: I get why people do things that are considered tax fraud. People are like, I want to keep my money. Da, da, da. You know what's really easy? Just doing what you're supposed to do. That is not easy, Jonas. Why? Because it's easy to just keep your money. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easy, you literally do nothing and you get to keep your money. That's how it works. They take they already take it out of your tax. You know what I hate? What's that? Is that the fact that we even have to do anything? Just tell me how much I owe. Just send it to me in the mail. Just tell me. I would get. You behind. already know. You know what? They they already know everything because it's all linked to our social security. That's numbers. what I'm saying. They should literally have ever. They should file all our taxes for us. Yes. And they should send us a bill or send us a check. Because you already know how much I owe. I guarantee you, if you owed the government $500 and then you did not pay them that $500, they will come to you and they say, knock on your door and say, you owe us $500. Why don't you just tell me I didn't begin it? Just send me a bill. You know? Yeah. I mean, they'll send you a letter. Now you got me fucking around with Equifax. Well, they're, they're, they're leaking they're my giving, info yeah. all over those like oil spills. Hey, and I got a, a big Baltic. fat $5 check for them giving my personal Get identification the hell out away. Of here. Uh, right. And they just, they leave the door and the tax process is not easy. Yeah. So they leave the door open for you to F it up. And then they could be like, fraud. And you're like, I didn't even know what I was going <laughs> I mean, you probably I'm just going to start giving the government all of my money, and then they'll and then they'll give me my refund. <laughs> that way right. I can't mess but it you up. But you got to file for that. Honestly, what? just send me money if you owe it to me, like, like you want me to do to you. And then if I owe you money, just tell me what I owe you, and I'll give it to you. Yeah. Why does this relationship got to be so difficult? There, there's actually something I've done since I was a teenager, and I probably should stop doing it because at this point it doesn't matter. But when I was a teenager, I saw there was a spot when you fill out your W-4 for work that you could, like, pay a little bit extra tax. You, you pay extra. So, so like, so I, I had, I think it's, like, $10 a check or something. So, basically, Jeez. it ends up being, like, an extra $500 a year because when I was young, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get much of a refund, right, because we're only making $20,000 yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, I knew for sure – I would at least get five hundred dollars back at the end of the year, and then I've just never stopped doing that. Like so, I mean, and now that when you get older, your tax return—if you don't have kids, your tax returns go way down because, yeah, like, yeah. especially if you're making decent money, you know how many kids you're not getting yeah. any flipping discounts. Like, have you ever had to actually pay? No, no. I always, I always, I make sure I, I, uh, I, I do, I do file, I file single zero. So they take out the most possible tax they take yeah, out anyway. That's usually the way I do it. And, yeah, and if you start putting dependents in the issue, like you can put you have nine dependents. They don't care what you put. You're just going to owe money at the end of the year because <laughs> that's how they, they do that. So they take out the proper amount of tax. And people do that who don't have kids. And then they're like, oh, God damn it. I spent all my money. And like, well, yeah, just put single zero. Even if you have kids, then you get the most money back at the end of the year. I don't know. <sighs> if taxes are whack dude taxes are whack <laughs> is this a 90s psa yeah dude taxes are whack i mean i get why we pay them and whatever i just the support the republicans I, and abolish the irs i agree that the system is whack uh yeah but like and it should be easier for everyone to file and all of that but you know like we have to support these third party right, entities well, that it, file your taxes well, here's the thing if we didn't pay taxes, our country would be in shambles. A lot of what we do comes from the money we pay, like the roads, the yeah. education system. And a lot of that isn't good enough to begin with. I 100% understand that taxes are a necessary evil. And I, I respect it. And they should take money out of people's checks or, you know, recoup it in some other fashion. I just think that it's a little nuts that they this is all of a sudden the thing they want to do. Let me throw this out at you. I would rather they have a bigger income tax and no sales tax. 
Take all my money when I make it so I know what I got is what I can spend it and I don't have to figure out the difference. So if I go to the store and buy something for 10 bucks, I hand you a $10 bill, ew, and walk out the door. I don't have to get 10 oh, 10 70 or whatever to I think what, isn't that like that's like a state thing though like states decide whether they tax food or clothing or Well right. But yeah, like just just take it all out when I make it. I'm know, never going to notice it's not there. I start a new job it's already gone. So you're saying if state and federal took both of their uh, portions out uh, just, off the top, yeah. just skim it off the top? Everything comes from when you make it. <laughs> Doesn't this feel like a Rico? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, yeah. like, hey, you're going to have to give us 18% or we're going to come in and break your legs. Right, exactly. I don't know, dude. I would like that better because then I would know the money I have is that's where it goes. That's fair. But anyways, no, no one would ever do that. Take more taxes. Everyone's like, eee. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have. Go to thecrazetown.com for Jonas. Do you take? Yep.